Hey there and welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to use the summary card block in software. With this block, you can show the data from a data source in a format fit for summaries and key stats. Inside of any of your apps within software, all you have to do is go to the source tab on the right here. I'm gonna press this plus sign and then I'm gonna look up the summary block. Now, by pressing on this, what we have here Following up with that is grabbing our data source and selecting the same base information that we have inside of our Airtable account, and then picking any specific table or view that we'd like. So I'm gonna grab the first table. Now, since it's been connected to a data source, you'll notice that it actually very quickly grabs a few of the different data source information and summarizes them. First and foremost, in the source tab, you'll see that you can sort this information by any of the different properties that make sense within your table. So for example, we can sort them by contacts, customers, opportunities, uh, as this is coming from our sales CRM table. And then furthermore, what we can do is we can add conditional filters if we want to. So inside of this, you can take a look at our CRM for this opportunities table. And say I only wanted to really show the some of these specific items here. For example, closed slash one inside of the CRM. What I would do is I would go here and I could set this to be status is, and then we can pick the conditional filter that is going to be same property name. So closed one. So I'm just gonna go here and easily copy this and paste it in there. Now editing mode doesn't really show the field preview that doesn't show the adjusted items that should be within here. So what I'm gonna do is be a logged in user. And you'll see right here that it does adjust pretty largely what we see here. The uh, different segments here are limited in comparison because they're now filtered. So we have that set up. Next in the feature section, here you can change the title and subtitle. So as you can see on the top here, this is quick overview. And then here is a snapshot of the keys. That's if I change this to data summary, or if I change anything about this, like adding specifically that this would be for, you know, the opportunities. Here's a snapshot of the key stats for opportunities. You'll notice here that these adjust. And then in this section where it says summary card, I can add specific labels and whatnot. So what I can do is I can mark account so that that would show, I can add a value as well. For example, the estimated value and I can adjust the color based on the status, for example, or the or any of these other properties. You can adjust these in a very customizable way, and if you'd like to, you can adjust any of these different instances from a stylistic standpoint as well by clicking on that button very clearly right here. And as with every software block, what you also can do is you can is you can fully customize its look in the style tab where you can modify from the padding in the, to the background color. So as you can see right here, by doing this, it adds padding to the top and bottom of this card. And I can even adjust this background color to anything I'd preferably have. I'm gonna keep it as white though, for now. Now, when I go back to the preview of this, you'll see that I have a nice data summary of the owned, or of the closed items here. And the name coincides with what I had marked here as the account, and the estimated value is right here and the color would adjust to the status if there was multiple of them. The summary card block can be very useful to show your key stats and number in an appealing way. You can fully customize it to your taste and add any data that you need. And this is why we really recommend that you try it out today. If you found this tutorial helpful, give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more insights into software. Share this video with anyone looking to up their presentation game. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.